People will begin their Thanksgiving turkey preparations either tonight or early tomorrow morning. But with the recent salmonella outbreak, safety has to be top of mind. Christine Sorensen takes a look new at six. The salmonella outbreak involving Turkey has sickened 164 people in 35 states, including Pennsylvania. 63 people were hospitalized and one person has died. When you ingest the bacteria about 12 to 72 hours later, you can develop nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, fever, stomach cramps. The U.S. Department of Agriculture says the salmonella is linked to 22 slaughtering facilities and seven processing plants, so it's widespread. They found the salmonella strain in different brands, different types of turkey, different stores. Problem is, the USDA has not released the list of processing facilities that are affected. Really investigating and trying to figure out they have not been able to identify a single source or supplier. That means you cannot even check to see if your turkey came through those plants. Several lawmakers have urged the USDA to release the list so consumers can better protect themselves, but that has not happened. So it really comes down to you to make sure you properly handle, prepare, and cook your turkey. Never leave a turkey out to thaw on the counter overnight. Bacteria can grow rapidly in raw turkey. Don't wash your poultry. A lot of people make this mistake yeah. because those water droplets can splatter and spread and contaminate surfaces. Keep raw turkey separate from other food items and surfaces like bowls, utensils, and cutting boards. Don't cook your stuffing inside the turkey because that can absorb those juices. And finally, we really wanted to make sure that people are washing their hands after handling raw turkey, making sure that people are cooking turkey to an internal temperature of 165 degrees. If you cook turkey to the internal temperature of 165 degrees, this strain of salmonella should die. And that goes for leftovers, too. They should also be reheated to 165 degrees. Christine Sorensen, KDKA-TV News.